Hi beauty pies, welcome back. Today's video is a haul, a Sephora haul, a luxury haul, a high-end makeup haul. Most of the products have been released in the last month or so. So these are all new products. I'm gonna quickly go through everything that I purchased. I will do some swatches so that if you wanna try something out immediately, you can and you can see what color and what it looks like. But I will be using all these products in future videos, tutorials, etc. Most of the makeup is from Sephora. Some is from other places, but mostly Sephora. So the first product, the one that I'm most excited to try and the one that I am wearing right now, spoiler alert, this is the Hourglass Cosmetics Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I'm wearing the shade 13. Like This is the color 13. So as you can see, it's not like the exact shade of mine, it is a little darker, but I was able to manipulate the color with some other products. I will have a full review on this on my channel soon, so keep an eye out for that. I will say it looks absolutely gorgeous on my skin, but I wasn't 100% pleased with it. So keep an eye out for my review on this foundation. Another product I purchased was this Huda Beauty concealer. So I got mine in the color Toasted Almond. The packaging is like this. It's a short brush. Let's have a little curve to the wand. So that is the color Toasted Almond. When I swatched that, it looked like it would be too pale, but the next color up and the next color below were a definite mismatch. So that's why I'm going to just try this and see how it works. Sometimes formulas, even though they swatch a certain way on your skin, once they blend into your skin and your oils and the other makeup, it can turn out to be a good match. I also bought this new powder from Laura Mercier. This is the translucent loose setting powder. It's now in a new formula that is called Ultra Blur. There are several colors. I brought mine in the color Translucent Honey. So they have tran Translucent, which is just like the white one. Then the middle one is this, the Honey. And then they have a darker one. I don't like the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder because it is more drying on my skin. So even though it's like a really popular cult favorite product, I generally have not used this product because of the fact that it's too drying for my skin and I'm normal to dry. I'm not extremely dry. I still find it to be drying on the skin. Um, but one of the things I like about powders are like the blurring effect that a powder gives. Just like with this foundation, it does give that really nice blurring effect. And so that's why, even though I know this formula is too drying for my skin, I still wanted to try it because it's called ultra blur. So we know the technology and whatever that they went into the formulation to make something a little bit different from the product that they already have is gonna be blurring. So very excited to use that. So that is the color Honey. As you can see, it looks really pale yellow. I'm planning to use it more as a under eye setting powder. So I think that it's still gonna be a nice color. I hope that maybe because of the new formula and that it's more of a blurring formula, it may not be as drying. So the other place that I bought some products from was Jaclyn Cosmetics. And I did actually purchase the things, these items from her website because it, the color was not available at Ulta. But Jaclyn Cosmetics is also sold at Ulta. So what I bought was this. This is the bronzer. She just came out with a line of bronzers. And I purchased mine in the color Bare Babe. So this is what the color looks like. I have rarely used bronzing powders. If you watched my previous videos, you know I use mostly cream contours and then I usually just set it with a powder. Um, but now I'm realizing that if I find like a really good contour powder, I can really skip the cream contour. I feel like it can save me about five minutes off my makeup time by using like a powder bronzer versus a cream contour just because of the ease of blending out. Um, but I have not found a good powder bronzer for my skin tone. I really want my bronzing powder to act more of as a contouring powder than I want it to act as a bronzing powder, but I really want it to do both. So I'm asking for a lot with bronzing powders, um, but I think that this is um, gonna work. Let's watch it really quickly for you. That is the color. So as you can see, it is not too red. I've also read that it's buildable. So when a powder is buildable and it'll be more sheer and more neutral. So that's why I feel like this might be like a good match for me. Also, it smells like coffee. So these are not new. This is not new. This is the first time I'm trying the lipsticks and the lip liner. I got the color, the lip liner, I got the color hot tea. 
That's the color Hot Tea. And for the liquid lipstick, I brought the color be brave so that's the liquid lipstick be brave another product that i got from jacqueline cosmetics is this hydra pout lip treatment so this is supposed to be used as like a lipstick primer this is specifically meant to be used under lipstick you can use it alone as well but you know usually most of us just use like a lip balm under your lipstick but i'm just curious to see if there are any special ingredients in here that keep your lipstick on longer or just make your lipstick go on nicer curious to see how that works i also purchased this new mini bronze eyeshadow palette from natasha denona this is what it looks like this one i really liked how the packaging is small and what a great palette for like the summer to fall transition because this can be used fall and this can be used summer still i like that it has two deeper colors usually like you have one deep color and then the other color is not as deep but both of these deep colors i can really build up the outer corner, which is what I like to do with eyeshadow. So I feel like this could be an all-in-one for me where I don't have to dip into another shadow in order to get the eye makeup look that I want. So I'm gonna do a whole video on this one as well. I brought another two lip products. These are from Rare Beauty. I brought a lip liner and a lipstick. Both, I believe, are new, or at least one is. No, I think both are new. This is the new Kind Words line from Rare Beauty. This is the color that I picked out for lipstick. This is the color Worthy. So it's like a brown nude. I think I chose well. So yeah, this is the color. Love that color. So I can already tell that that's gonna be really nice for like a neutral look. The packaging for this is very unique. Never seen anything like it. You have to press down on it to close and then press again to open. For the lip liner, I bought the color what color is this? Gifted. I feel like I didn't choose the right shade with the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip lipstick. I like the lip liner, but the lipstick I think might be a little too peachy for me, but I think this lipstick and this just from the swatches are going to be a really good match for me. So this is the color Gifted. So you can see that it's more of a pink mauve than hot tea. And last but not least, I bought a new brow product. I am really into trying new brow products now. I've always used the Benefit Cosmetics brow product, which I really love, but recently I ran out of it and I thought, you know, let me try some new stuff. So I do see the difference when I try different brow products. The color makes such a big difference. Like you would think it's really just the formula, but I do think the right color can make a big difference and can give you different looks too with your with your brows like if you want to go for something more natural versus something heavier the uni thing about this product which is a brow pencil from patrick todd this is also very new this is the color in soft black what's unique about this is how thin it is like this is like a typical eyebrow pencil is probably like this thick and so this is very thin this is not what i have on right now but um what, about, what do i have on right now Really when I'm looking for a new brow product is I'm just looking for something that's gonna make it easier to do my brow. I do have products that I like to use and I'm trying stuff that I like, but at the end of the day, it's like, did I save any time in doing my brows with this particular product? So that's what really intrigued me about this one because it's not just a different brand making a brow product. This actually is completely different because it's so thin. And off the bat, you may not think that might make a difference, but I do think when it comes to brows, you wanna use a really light hand. Even if you're going for something more dramatic, using a light hand and doing smaller strokes just gives you more of a natural effect. And when you have a slim pencil, and you can hold it and it's not as heavy to hold, it can make it easier to get those feather-like strokes. And this has a brush. I honestly did not think this had a brush because of how thin it was and how lightweight it was. I just happened to pull on the bottom and there is a brush, which is great. That just makes everything easier. So small and slim brush and pencil. The only thing left is the color. I hope the soft black ends up being a nice color for me. I'll be using all these products in future videos. Some of them are gonna have dedicated videos, definitely the foundation and the eyeshadow palette and maybe the brow products. But that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.